Hey, what's hey, going y'all? On, Scott for Dummies here. Sitting well, here dancing behind the bar. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. You're always dancing, man. The music gets you going. I know. Every time I hear the intro music. And he changes it up on me, which is kind of fine because it doesn't get old for me. But uh, welcome to Scouts for Dummies Live. Cheers, Three guys. of us today. Yep. Cheers. Um, awesome. Cheers. And let's stop and say happy Mother's Day to all those happy mothers, mothers Day. out there. In fact, I know a certain mother and group of mothers that may be watching our live. So. Oh, really? Hi. Well, hello there. Hi to Roxanne's group. Ooh, <laughs> Roxanne. <laughs> all right. Um, that's cool. So. Anyway, we got a pretty exciting show. We got a lot going on here, a lot of things changing up, and the glare in my glasses is driving me nuts. So, off cool. we go. We're going to start off by getting into these two cool bottles. I hope you guys have heard of them. Maybe you haven't. They're really interesting. They're mm -hmm. new distilleries, and this is going to be some interesting distillate. And then behind that, we are going to start round bowling. Right We're going to bowl it. Yeah. The bowling ball, the scotch <laughs> ball. The blind. Shoot off, I guess. We'll Do call yourself it. blend bracket. That's what we're going to call so it. So what we have Patreon, here is blend. Patreon yeah. our blend samples bracket. from our patrons uh, blends. They took whatever whiskey they had um, on their bar and they mixed up a blend. And they sent us the sample. And we are going to see of our patrons that are participating, who is the best blender. So this spawned from a show we did, oh gosh, guys, a month ago, I oh, think it was. Well, nah, we yeah. did a we did a fun show where I think I, that's right, I, I put you guys to a test, right? I blended something you did. <laughs> back here and actually it was pretty good. It wasn't bad, yeah. And we had actually a lot of interaction with it and it kind of spawned this idea of, hey, what? let's explore this further. Can we can we make this really interesting? Can, can we like something that we've done ourselves? And so the patrons were like, I want in, so let's do this. Yeah, so what we essentially put together was each person took whiskey from their bar. It could be grain, It could. Uh, there's no rules, right? It doesn't even have to be scotch, does it? No, it needed to be scotch. And, yeah, so it's it, bourbon it rye. Any okay. scotch, it could be blended scotch, it could be single malt scotch, and you, they create a unique blend for them. And then they send it to us, and we are going to evaluate them. Now, Blind. we don't know We don't know who wrote, who made what, I mean, there's a, like a whole a double blinding process that went through to make these unusual. And um, it's going to be our subjective. So we don't know what they're going to be peated. We don't know if they're going to be you know, no sherried. We, they it, may be, is it going to be White Walker? It might be White Walker. <laughs> they could just take a whole bottle of White Now, and there's, no, there's, there's, has a, to be, yep. there's a minimum. Yep. What was it? Uh, one percent or something like no, that. No, right? was. Uh, I want to say a third or something like a tablespoon or something. There's a. It percentage. has to be something to say. You couldn't pull a, a John Glazier on this, right? Yeah. Um, but they yeah. did send their recipes as well, and, and Drew's got them in envelopes. Envelope so sealed, bottles that are sealed. So we double blinded, as you said. I, I poured those samples into these samples, randomized. I have a legend down here. I that was two and a half weeks ago. Yeah. I have no. I don't even know who's who at this point. Uh, I want to be transparent and say that we do have two that are in trans, trans, uh, transit right now, so, so we don't know who they are. So we're leaving them off the list for randomized today, to be fair. So later in this episode, we got to get started this, guys. Yep. Yeah, uh, we we're going to randomize this and get started. So for now, what do we have here, Mark? Uh, so let's wind it back. So uh, A lot of you guys, well, hang on, time out, time out, time out. Scroll up and let me say hello to a couple say of people. Hello to I see Ka I see Kaplan and I want to say hi to him. George, I am back. My smell is coming back. It is time for you and I to make a date and he do some samples. He has been so excited. Oh my gosh! It's all I hear. I got smell. He's got a smelling kit that he made for me. Andrew, he's like, oh, what's that? And I got it. Been good walking around smelling everything. Um, Tom R. I see Bobby J. It's good to see him on, and he's probably hopefully not at work, uh, which is good. Chad Anderson. Um, who else? I saw Eric. Right. Wait, Eric I know Wait's Eric's here. here. Yeah. yeah, good to see you, Eric. Brandon Smith is on high. He's on Facebook, by the way, Ooh. watching. Gene cool. Osborne. Good afternoon to you too. So, uh, and Mr. Gray. Good evening. Oh, Mr. Where Gray. is that guy? I, I was our Gray. Hmm. Is he related to Gandalf? Eastern Europe, maybe. I don't know. Uh, so wanted to buy the Dominic to add to an ever-growing Dominic collection. Ooh, wow. Interesting. And, and, and a collection. I, we might have to hear some comments from you. So what happened here? Um, for those of you that, that, that shop online uh, and buy your scotch uh, online, I actually buy quite a bit from over the pond. And one of my favorite sites that I go to is the, the Whiskey Barrel. Um, so over the course of the last couple of years, they've sent me tons of bottles that I bought and have built a little bit of a relationship. And they were kind enough to kind of let us know that these new bottles were coming out. You know, they had that big series. Um, the one, series, one giant like, leap. One giant Isn't leap, one, one small yeah. step. They, yeah, here's the, the one that actually kicked oh, it all off. So um, good. And as they rounded that series out and finished it, 
they actually started a new series what they're calling their Voyager series. And they have these two bottles. It's Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Voyager 1 bottle is a Dalmanek, and it's a five-year-old. And Voyager 2 is a Strathenry, which is distilled at Inch Darney. It's, yes. It's, yeah. Inch Darney. Um, and it's a four-year-old. But what I find extremely interesting about these bottles is that those distilleries are really, really new. So I, I is that the oldest spirit from them? It, it, this one, the Inch Darney, very well could be. What, what what I have in my hand could be from their very first run. I, we don't know. Um, interesting stories on both of them. But the Whiskey Barrel kind of gave us a heads up that they were going to be bottling these. So I we did what I could to make sure that I get a couple of these so we could ch talk to you guys and uh, before they sell out because I, I there's there's quite a bit of buzz especially around the inch darny when we when we get to that one so Voyager one and Voyager two Andrew take me on a little lesson history where are these guys at uh, they are currently Voyager one and Voyager two are currently outside of the U, uh, outside of the solar system right you say now. US <laughs> outside the US, US solar system that's not that far the US. <laughs> so. Um, I did a little bit of research. These, both of these uh, space probes were launched in 1977. Voyager 2 was launched first, and then Voyager 1 was launched afterwards. Voyager well, why, why did they do 2? Well, right? because Voyager 1, its intent was to get to Jupiter and Saturn first. So so those that was kind of a direct path. Whereas Voyager 2, it took a slower path to get to Jupiter and Saturn, but then they also went to uh, Neptune and Uranus. And so, beyond. And beyond. So they're all, they are all outside of the... Heliosphere, I guess is what they call it, with all the planets around the sun. No, no, maybe you, in NASA, counting is hard. You've actually pulled up, we were talking about something, <laughs> you pulled up an image, and it was really perspective as far as like oh, where these things are at. It, it, they're so far gone, like yeah. the Milky Way, like crazy. So these do have solar panels. Number one, these are the efficiency of solar panels in 1977. So yeah. they're not great. And they're actually having to turn off instruments, so they will still have enough power because they're so far out. They're just gliding, right? I mean, well, they, yeah, they're yeah. flying, but they're, they're using whatever sun they can get to keep whatever instruments alive and track instruments back. and uh, communication back. That's amazing. So you're still communicating, but it. I think that I think they're about done. I think there there's some. <laughs> what you look at a line 2021, maybe 2025, and then it'll be so far gone. I mean, we're, we're talking about the stuff on Mars right now, and the, you know, the helicopter is flying and the communication that now obviously it's much better now. Yeah, that's but a fact, few, yeah. Back then, back then, these geniuses had the idea mind. to be able to still figure out a way to communicate. I mean, it, it boggles my mind that they can still do yeah. that. And they can Crazy. predict, even after they shut down, they're still going to be moving. You know, yeah. they're basically just, you know, uh, meteor right or asteroids yeah but they can predict where these things are going to pass you know in a hundred years where they'll be and i'm like but they can't guarantee that they're not going to get slam slammed by something some other space debris flying through i mean i know that it's a lot of space but yeah i, I read that they're the, so they predict within about 300 years they will get close enough to another um plan or another sun to recharge sun. batteries again oh really so it's it's but you know and there's now. a movie right there. It sounds could, like something. We could happen. write a movie on that. That would be really interesting. But anyway, that's of course, they don't get hit by something. <laughs> so, with that being said, let's yeah. talk about it. Do you guys want to get into Voyager 2 first? It is actually a younger, and it's, um, I don't, I think Voyager 1 bottle here is actually matured in um, Oloroso, first fill Oloroso. So Definitely darker. So, let's let's do oh, the Voyager 2 first, good. just like NASA did. So, okay. Um, uh, distilled at Inch Darney, uh, Strathenry is the, the the name of the spirit. Let's talk about Inch Darney for a hot second. Tom, I'm not going to pull that comment up. That's just that's just wrong. What's is he? Is he he's, being, he's being uh, Uranus Walter. The Cyrano notes are pulled out. I mean, that's pulled out from. Past, that's too easy. Great. Tom. That's Neptune. You pull it out of pull it out of Neptune. <laughs> yep. <laughs> At least you're there a little go. more clean. And we got, we got 10 minutes into the shell before we start pulling that out. Uh -huh. So anyway, the Strathenry is a inch, inch Darney. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um, inch Darney is a, a, a new distillery um, and they're doing some interesting things. So they're not even bottling their flagship brand, if you will, that's going to be called Inch Darney. If you go to their website, they've got a ticker that said they may bottle it in eight years. I think they're saying they're not going to bottle their inch Darney uh, <laughs> bottling until it's at least 12 years old. So in the meantime, they've got some other projects going. They've got this Strathenry, which I think they're actually claiming to be a, a blend. It's, it's, it's used for blending, we'll say. Um, but nevertheless, Clearly they're enough. bottling it right now. And they're actually bottling some other things too. If you pull up their, their website, this one, oh, uh, the other one, yep. they actually have um, one called Rye Law which is a really weird thing that they're actually making 
rye scotch, I guess you can, you, you'll, you'll say, if that's legal. And you called um, this out before we started tonight about, yeah, well, that can't be It happy. can't be rye because it has to be, it has to be malt, but. Uh-huh. But, but it's malted rye. Well, and that's the other thing is there, if it has to be malted barley by current rules, but if there's a tradition, a Scottish tradition, you may be able to bring that back in as the, as the rye law. Right. So if you go to their website, Inch Darnie Distillery, and you cr click on the rye law, it'll it says that uh, the creation of this this distillate, this bottling, was spurred by a discovery of a 1908-09 Royal Commission report on whiskey that said rye was historically used to make scotch. So they bum, bum, bum. they have a leg to stand on. Who knows? But any so what they will have, they will at least have a rye whiskey. Right. they can sell whether it's called it can be called Disgusting. scotch or not that's true that's a whole other discussion that's but. very much so true. they've got a couple of different things going but obviously this strathenry is is out there um because we have a bottle of it and their inch darny bottling is it just if you said it may be unveiled that's what it years. says yeah maybe so we don't know Eight years from now hope hopefully right we don't know but anyway, this particular bottle is four years old. What else do we know about it? I think that's it, other than it's a... Um, do we know if we have color added to it? 60%, 60.5 ABV. No, it's non-show filtered it's, and natural color. It is natural color? I'm stunned because they both are almost the same color. <coughs> I'd be surprised if, if that one's uh, natural. This one, all the rest of They're four or five, so... I mean, it's not like... You probably can't see. I don't know if I can fill this up or not. It you doesn't can't, say. Uh, it's not like super, super dark. Interestingly enough, they number it. This is bottle 216 of 218. So yeah. um, I'll hold them up real quick. They're not that much different no, color. They're not too much different. <clears throat> There's a lot of buzz around this because of the distillery of Inch Darnie. And I know talking to the guys over at the Whiskey Barrel that this one is almost sold out. Um, there's some bottles left of it, but I'm extremely interested to get into a four-year-old spirit and see what's up, what we get out of it. How would they find these if they wanted to get them right now? The only way I know um, is through the Whiskey Barrel. And I've Whiskey seen... Whiskeybarrel.com. Yeah, yeah, the Whiskeybarrel.com. And I've seen some pictures on um, Instagram. There are people in the States that are, are getting their hands on these because um, I've seen pictures of them. Yeah. I haven't seen any reviews of them per se, but nevertheless... I, I don't know if the whiskey no. barrel plans to do. Mm -hmm. Daniel says there are 150 left. So, um, cool. oh, there you go. Of the of the probably the Strathenry because there's only I would 218 bottles. That means there's plenty left. And yeah, interesting. Um, I don't know if they're going to continue the Voyager series or if this goes on like they did the other series. But uh, keep an eye on the whiskey so. barrel. They're kind of they're, they're kind of maybe they'll do Voyager 1.1 1. 1 or something. Mars so, something. what do you guys yeah. get out of this? All right, so. Mm. What was the ABV again? 60.5. It's pretty high in ABV, so it's a little hot. Um, it is sweet. It is um, definitely no peat, no smoke, none of that. It's all grain and... Um, vanilla Christmas spice. Vanilla Christmas You guys not get malt? Spice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting a malt, definitely a maltiness, but I'm not getting a... It's it's interesting. I, oh, I, when I initially sweet. noticed it, I thought I, I smelled oak in there, but that may just be... Um, a, a young uh, maltiness. Yeah, that probably. I, I get like a, a, a slight, like a somewhat vanilla cookie. I don't know. I get vanilla. Yeah. Do we have any idea what the um, what they did with the cast? No. Bonus? If you read their website, it, it point blank says that they have no. They don't. They Strathamore uses the exact same mash bill throughout the year. Same process. Everything's the same, but they they claim that they don't have control over the cask because I think the bottlings will be. Well, I don't know. I, I, I don't know because this isn't this isn't a distillery offering. This is a whiskey barrel offering. The whiskey barrel, you know, chose this wow. cask. So that's good for four years old. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, it's like it's like Sweet. it's a new. There's a little bit of like new scraped oak. I mean, it's like it, yes, it's almost like the, it tastes almost as if there's no char in there. But I'm sure there has to be some toasting or charring in there. But it's just like. Fresh oak. So it's a just very subtle. First impressions up front. As soon as it hit my mouth, sweet marshmallow. Yeah. Roll, roll into more of that, like a, a fresh oak shavings. Um, almost to say a, a little edgy too. I was just gonna say I don't want to. I don't want you to super. But that's the first drink. But but tasty. It's malty and. There's another, there's another, I lost it now, but there was something else I was going to say. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it's not like a, a heavy tannin oak 
it's not like it's been over oaked at all. It's just it's just there. Just, you can just see it's there. Vanillas and caramel. So when when you guys not get any spice at all on the palate? Not much. No, okay, not. So and when Short I finished the too. word edge, I didn't want anybody to think that it's it's so edgy that it's rough and you're like, oh man, I don't know, this thing's a little bit off balance. I think that edginess is coming from the ABV, sixty point mm -hmm. five. Uh, so we'll see when we put a drop. a drop or two on this, mm, but mm. I don't even remember the price point. I, I mean, we should pull up whiskey barrel just so we can. Sure. I think someone said ninety nine pounds. Not uh, cheap, so. No, I mean it's for a four for year old, year old. <laughs> it's yeah, absolutely that's... not cheap for a four year old whiskey. But you're also getting <clears throat> into a distillery that literally hasn't been around, barely been around long enough to bottle. <laughs> I mean, let's be it's, honest. It's in the front of their page right now, too. Yeah. So. Yep, it, uh, US uh, US fifteen dollars. U.S. dollars is one fifteen. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, click on it and see what they have to Which say one? about it. Yeah, that the one we're drinking right the now. And both of these are the same price right now. Yeah. Yeah. So, bourbon barrels, what they're claiming on whiskey yeah. barrels, and that's that I mean, sense. it does make sense. It doesn't say here on. on you you know what? That's actually that's exactly what I'm getting on on the palate too. It's it's but it's a concentrated like. Like we were drinking Noah uh, Noah's Mill the other night. Yeah, delicious bourbon, by the way. I really like it. And, it, and that that's what's reminding me of, of of that syrupy bourbon almost. Um, yeah, this doesn't have the corn flavor. influence, so that's that's the clear difference I think between this and a bourbon. Yep. Yep. And yeah, plus, the barrels uh, again. Like I said, the barrel sugary. is not as barrel forward in the palate as you would normally have in a bourbon because it's a used bourbon barrel. So this is this is a yep. lowland as well. A lowland. So, oh, well, oh yeah, let's okay. talk about the, the yeah. where the distillery where is, is. This is actually, they say they're classifying it as a lowland. I'm not sure about that. You think it's more of a highland? Uh, yeah, because it's actually Probably north of, it's about 40 miles north of Edinburgh as the crow flies. So it's on the other side, it's north of the bay there. Um, it's actually really close to Glenrothes. Oh, really? It, 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 it right actually, on the, bar, on the edge? It's a little bit north of it. Okay. Do you have a, uh, Little I mean, that's water, just what Google Maps said to me species. anyway. I wanted to find oh. out where this distillery was actually located. Oh, okay. So, um, pipettes. Um, it, it actually, that's enough. Funny you said that. It kind of does have a little Gunrothis type flavor to it. If you, if you know what I'm talking about with their flavor profile. So, it's good. Ooh, I, that, it, it's that water. So, uh, I would say second. it's not incredibly complex. It doesn't have these deep layers of, of flavor. So, yeah. It's just nice. It's easy to drink. It's very flavorful and it's 60% yeah. ABV. You can add water to it. I added a little water to it and it was. It, it handled it without thinking. So, I, ironically enough, though, the water, I mean, initially, I probably need to let it sit for a hot second, um, isn't bringing out the sweetness like I expected mm -hmm. to. So usually water, oh, when there, when there's a sweetness, neat, neat and you put a couple drops, it usually just blows that sweetness up and it just, you know, comes flying out even more. But, um, so I got this water down to probably. Don't know, Tom. Time. Good question. Have to go to their website to figure that one out. Um, Single malt gateway to the ice giants, the grand tour Voyager yeah. two. So That's I nice. would anticipate that the whiskey barrel, um, doing more grand tour bottles. I'm not quite sure. Uh, interesting. Okay. Very, very bourbon esque. I would say. Yeah. A lot of bourbon. I think so right. too, but, it, but it's a, it's a sweet, it's a syrupy sweet. I like it. It doesn't, it, it doesn't have a huge complexity to it, Yeah. but it's, it's very, it's actually, um, I'd be happy to drink this as a daily drammer, uh, although I'll say on the side of sweeter than normal. It's pricey for daily I'll tell you what. But it is pricey, yeah. correct. But I mean, yeah. something I'm going to pour that's not, it doesn't taste hot. No, that's correct. And that water took that edge completely off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that it, it tells me that the edge was alcohol. Mm -hmm. um, yep. I mean, I think, I think the price is probably... Uh, up there a little bit for it, but I think it's actually comparable. I mean, it's it's only a it's a four year old, is it, or just a five? Well, Good this, call, Ben. This is the four year, well, right? One, so, one I, uh, so I pointed out that I, the distillery is close to yeah, the I town of Glen uh not where the distillery is located, 125 miles north. Oh yeah. Um, so would you so, would you pay 100 bucks for this bottle? You know what, I I pay 100 dollars for it to get into this distillery and learn about inch darning because it's not something I've ever heard of. And it, it intrigues me to get my hands on a new distillery. There's new distilleries being popped up in Scotland actually quite a bit um, of late. And this one just, it's got a, its own story. They've got their own journey and I want to get it. So I would try it at, at that price just to get into it and say, all right, at least I know who these guys are and what they're doing. Now, if 
I already had uh, knowledge of that. I don't know if I'd pay a hundred dollars um, as far as value. I don't know. Cast strength. You get more whiskey for your whiskey. Tom has a good question. Is it, is it a good scotch for a beginner? Oh I, yeah, I, for sure. I think it is from a palate perspective, yeah. but maybe not from a, a, a cast strength, cast strength journey perspective. Maybe it's probably like, okay, this is a little bit more sophisticated or what's the word I'm looking for? Just in a different world in the sense. So no unintended. <laughs> a, a good scotch for a beginner to learn about high ABV whiskeys, because I, this, this one doesn't, does not taste hot. It doesn't taste hot, but it's not overly complex, but it's, it is 60.5. It is, is a punch in the mouth, right? You can really get into it. Um, fun. And I'm excited to see what happens. Obviously now that I've done this, I'm going to be keeping an eye on this distiller and that ticker, right? Hey, you know, are they still going to do this or what's see, that rye about? You know, that, that's the one thing that this has that, that made warrant the extra, extra price is that it is a, um, a preliminary bottle from this distillery it's unique and you keep it on the shelf until you get their bottle distillery or the distillery bottling right. and Almost right. collector then yeah it's a collector kind of scenario. it is and i i think if i i would say that beginner is not a fair question but if you are a scotch drinker which i know that most of you guys watching right now this is a bottle i would suggest you buy Sure, Daniel, for the same price. Oh, yeah. yeah, over there oh. you can get a Glendrill 21. Um, yep. And I'm not saying don't get that Glendrill 21 because I do. I've got you a couple. Want, you of want them. To try it. But um, this is just, it's different. It's new. So there's something interesting like for it. it. And, and I'm glad that I'm trying it. And I'm, it's going to make me be more interested and keep an eye on what that distillery is doing. Yep. That's for sure. I don't think you're going to see, um, you're going to see more independent bottlings of it. But, um, you should go to their website, Inch Darney, and check them out anyway. And check out the whiskey barrel if you're actually interested in picking up a bottle. Um, I think we're going to probably end up giving some samples of this guy away. We are, what? actually. I think we are. Yeah. We so could launch a couple out with the what? owls. In these empty empty sample bottles? Well, that'd be crazy. Right. What a coincidence. That is a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> shall, we, shall we give one away right now, you think, for this one? I say let us do it. All right. Yeah. Let's dun, pull dun, it up. Dun, dun. And let's say for I, I actually yeah, let's we, we committed to something in our conversation about this the other night, didn't we? We did. Did we? I think we did. So let's go ahead and do a, the raffle. So all you've got to do <laughs> if is if you're interested in having an owl deliver a two ounce sample of inch darny strathery, four year old, enter Whatever it is, what is Drew? I'm going to pull it up. He's right pulling now. up right now. We're not going to keep the entry open for long because we got stuff to do. We're, we're moving. All you got to put it in the chat is pound dummies, and you will be entered for a free sample of this, which I think, honestly, look at everyone. He's right. Ravel. That's the old bot. We're doing, we're doing new bots. <laughs> um, All right, do I have you a better pen switch here? up, uh, everyone. You're going to be. Uh, you're going to miss out. What do you need? Pen. 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 Pen's down there. Yeah. All right. Yep. Second show. You got to keep working. Um, so yeah, this is uh, something that I think is very. Uh, I, I appreciate. It. I like what they're doing with the series. I'm. I actually like you. I'm looking forward to seeing what else might come out of the distillery. You know what the 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 whiskey barrel. I've gotten a ton. They've got a hell of a selection. If you if you're looking for a variety, you can't go wrong going and checking them out. And you know, yes, I know shipping's expensive, but if you're buying online, you're paying shipping anyway, mm -hmm. and you do what everybody else does. You buy another one bottle. because it's cheaper price per bottle to ship two than it is one. So I usually right. end up getting a couple. Um, so while you guys are entering for the Strathenry, we're going to talk about Voyager 1, which launched 16 days after Voyager 2. Really? We're doing it backwards. Wrong way. But this is a different uh, casket, right? It is. This is actually first Phil Oloroso, so I'm quite excited about Ooh, this. Me too. Um, this is coming from Dalmuno, Dalmunak. Um, let me say it right. Dead spot heart in the middle of Speyside. Um, this is a five-year-old, and the story behind this distillery is um, it actually was Imperial. Um, so through Beautiful the years, and, and well, Beautiful. the new one is. So over the years, Imperial does what it's doing, and actually Imperial was a distillery that produced whiskey for blending. Um, anyway, it ends up getting closed down. It sat dormant for a while, and actually they it, it's, it, it's done in 1993. Pernard, um, Ricard yep. ends up buying it. They, uh, they've they got their hands on it, and they decide that they're going to – the old distillery needs too much work. 
All right, so we're just going to demolish it. We're going to build a new distillery that's a powerhouse and that can just crank out, uh, distill it for our Chivas. Um, what are the other ones? Chivas, scroll down. Yep. Uh, la, 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 keep going. Keep going. It says, yeah, you yeah, got to keep going. Chivas, uh, why am I? Ballantines and Royal Salute. I did think oh, I was Royal Salute. Salute. Just did a I, on I'm pulling it out of here because I read this already. <laughs> um, so those are the three. So the the intent of um, of this distillate that they're producing is for those blends. Um, but obviously, you they're selling it off to uh, independent bottlers, which the whiskey barrel stepped in and obviously grabbed a cask. Mm. This is um, bottle 289 of 290, distilled in 2015 uh, and bottled in 2021. Now, if you do the math, that says six years, but you can't just do that because of the months. Anyway, <laughs> uh, matured in first fill Oloroso Hogshead. Um, on August 25th, 2012, the Space Probe Voyager 1 entered interstellar, interstellar space. Wowzer. So anyway, uh, quick check we on. We've got 22 entries out of 41. Before I put so a nose in here. Let's talk gonna, to me. We're going to give you a, another 60 seconds here, plus our delay of me telling you this right now to enter. So maybe give them another two minutes. Yep. Two minutes. I know. Two minutes. So I'm going to smell this while that's going on. Then we're All right. Draw. So this is Dominic. Oh, wow. That's definitely a, a sherry nose. Yeah, I, I'm not sure this is. It's almost, uh, it's almost it's um, almost concentrated sherry, almost like really potent. What is that? I'm getting that. It's like a almost funky sourness. Yes, this is sixty five point nine percent ABV though, so this is a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sixty five nine, sixty five nine, further than anyone or anything in history. That's the Voyager one. Yes, I'm gonna start nicknaming myself Voyager one. I like that claim. <laughs> Put it on my business card. All right, let's get this draw. All right, let's see who we got here for the first sample. And here we go. Oh, Strathenry. Well, check this out. I love this just spinning. Beat. Oh, Alan Newland. All right. Alan Newland. Email scotch for dummies at gmail.com. With congratulations, the, um, some place that the owl can drop this off at. That's right. All right. So let's get back into Voyager One Oloroso. Um, I'm saying the nose is not really that appealing to me at this point. So I need to I need to taste it. But I'll be honest with you, the nose is a lot softer to me than I expect. But now, mind you, I'm just getting back into the saddle. It definitely doesn't smell 65.9. It's like sour wood. What? What's going on here? That is that is um, extremely sherry, but <sighs> but like I would say like mm. like fresh barrel sherry. It doesn't feel like it's matured. That's hot too. It doesn't taste too hot. <laughs> yeah, it does. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, does. Maybe, maybe I got a problem. <laughs> you might have a problem. What do you think? Mind you, I'm still. I'm getting back up to 100% here. I really like the palate. Yeah, it is hot. A little bit of a red hot going on in there because of the alcohol. Yeah. But um, this is this reminds me of something that, that I like to sneak into a football game to keep me warm. You know what I mean? <laughs> like whatever, Claire. I mean, what? <laughs> not I'm sure not what like, that might be. I, I you got a little say, flask over here. I'm going to hit the third quarter. I'm getting cold. My, my toes are getting numb. <laughs> so raw nose on it. I'm like, this isn't going to be for me. But I taste it. It's hot. And then I go back in the nose. I'm like, oh, oh, now it's all bounced out. Marco it's, is on. Sorry. It's now all smoothed out. And it's, it's <laughs> much better, actually. <laughs> much love, Marco. Sorry, Andrew. That was a, that was what I <laughs> I got catch, one of man. our drivers that we have who we were there. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Sorry. Yeah. We had a good time with ADD him, there. Sticking in. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, I like the first, I'm, I'm actually excited to let it sit here for a second, put some water uh, on Even it. before it's, I put water on I, I agree with you. It, it's got something a little yeah. different on the nose and not terrible, not, not off putting, but it's a little different, but I think See, the water is going to open up. I think after that first drink, the nose has just improved 10 times. It has. I agree. I agree with that. And I don't know why the nose, maybe because we had done this one that was bourbon barrel only, and then we move over to sherry, and it's just got, it's got a, a different, different nose to it. So 
before we move forward in the spirit of what we just did with this one, why don't we start the raffle on that one? Oh, okay. Right. Good idea. You're a genius. I'm a genius. All right, guys. So we're going to do this all over How again. How did you guys do it last time? Uh, draw again. Oh, yeah. Well, but just, that's no. just, 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 I don't know. Stop it. We just really oh. did a redraw because that's what it was. And everybody that was entered the first time got entered the second time. <laughs> well, we need to do that again. That's not well, right. Well, let me try and just start over. Yeah, start over. All right, keep talking. Oh, anyway, so I'm trying to watch what Drew's doing. Um, so, so we're going to go to Voyager 1. Voyager 1, which is Dal Munak, 2015, first Phil Olero. So this is interesting, guys. So keep in mind that they're making this distillate to be put in Chivas Regal, Royal Salute, okay? Now, that doesn't mean that that's what's in this bottle, right? Because yeah, this was put, put in, in an Olero. And, and maybe they would do that for those blends, too, because I could see this definitely being used in it but it's it's interesting i gotta i gotta see what happens when it opens up here and then get a little water on it it's interesting that nose went it went yes south again great uh, uh alistair says a beautiful distillery very lucky to have had a tour there i am very jealous of that because if you guys pull up their website um it is a very uh interesting new building and i think they were very conscious about the green space about the environment, which I think is actually kind of really being pushed into law. If you're going to build a new facility in Scotland, I think there's certain requirements that you have to take into consideration when it comes to that. What you doing? Oh, oh. I just wanted to see something for a second. Oh, you just want to see if this would fit into some Royal Salute? It, it kind of has a memory of something similar. I'm just curious. All right. Well, you go. You keep talking. Voyager number uh, one. See, now, oh, now, oh. now the nose is going back to a little bit of that sour. That's what I said. That's so weird. So I would say that this has, has a, uh, this may need some, uh, some totally different. Totally different. See, oh, now I okay. wet the glass with it and it's sweet again. Um, um, so I will say of the two, I'm struggling the most with Voyager one. Voyager two was very bourbon esque, very sweet, very consistent. Um, no off flavors, no nothing. I, it was it just really, it was an easy drinker. This one I think is a little more challenging. Put some water to it. Boy, it's viscous though. Long, long legs. I like it. It's. It, it's I like the palate. Anyway. It didn't lie about what it's in. No, no, no. You there's no doubt about what they matured this in. That's but, for well, sure. You're but right. is, is is it good sherry? That's the question. I don't, and I don't know enough about the good sherry versus the bad sherry to know is the flavor coming out of here what is indicative of a really fine sherry. Get Steve Perry on the phone. <laughs> oh God! Did you really do wow. that? Wow, that's so bad. Good times. <laughs> good times with this group. <laughs> Always, man. Um, so that 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 uh, reference needs to be in some blooper reel. So yeah, uh, Alistair obviously has had had um, some interest in Dominic because yes, I had I did a little googling and, and searching, and yes, uh, Duncan Taylor does have an octave release of this Dominic. Um, oh really? They do. Ooh, I do uh, like so I don't know where to get that, but I do know we can get this guy at the whiskey barrel, and I, I do want to say thank you to them for for letting us absolutely be a part of getting our hands on these bottles because I don't think they're going to be around long um, just because of the, the newness of them and, and what they're doing. Mm, I really would be interested to see what happened to this guy if they would have left it in there for another five years. I'm well, curious. Yeah, too. I'm getting I'm getting all sorts of plums on the nose now. Mm. Yeah, it's got definitely got plums for sure. For sure. Um, this is, oh, it is Oloroso. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Double checking that because it actually. Do you guys remember the instant PX10? The 10 mm -hmm. PS, remember how pungent that PX is? Yeah, this has some of that quality, that pungent sherryness. It just it. doesn't carry the, the PX, it doesn't quality. have the PXX, yeah. it doesn't have that overly grape sweetness kind of thing that I get. But I get PX. that pungence in what you're talking yeah. about. There's some kind of I don't want to say sourness because people think that's wrong. I wonder, I wonder if they even drain the, the sherry, yeah, out probably of this extremely <laughs> wet barrel. Is yeah. that what you're saying? Yeah, could be. Yeah, let's give it away. Let's see what we got so, going here. Anyway, okay. last 19, call, 19. Voyager one. Not as many people want this one. That's right. <laughs> is if you want uh, a sample of the Dominic. First fill Oloroso, five-year-old, 65.9 punch. You got in 60 nose. seconds. You got 60 seconds. Go. I like it. I mean, I, 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 uh, 
I think it's going to get better after it's been oh, oxidized. A I think bit. so I, too. It's, maybe it's it's, yeah. it's definitely missing some some wood influence. I think I think it it's, it smells it tastes young in that regard yeah. to me. I, I think it's kind of awkward. I think if it had a few more years in that barrel, that for that sherry wood to. <laughs> I, I just get the image of like a two-year-old to a toddler walking. It's just kind of awkward. It's not. <laughs> it's, that's not kind of how really, it is. Yes. It'll get better later, but it's just not there. That's yet. a weird way to <laughs> look at it. But yes. <laughs> Putting water on that thing made that palate even better, as far as I'm concerned. I, I, I like it. I definitely like I, it. It definitely handled the water better than it was. I think it was better. I water. think. I think with about five or six drops in that little bit that I had left, man made this a, a really enjoyable dram. It's really in my flavor yeah, profile right now. It's much not better. better. I know it's not. No, it's not, <laughs> right? not my wheelhouse for sure. It's not. I actually do. Um, yeah. So good stuff. Uh, interestingly enough, what was the ABV on this guy? 60 point. So 60.5 and 65.9 Voyager 1, Voyager 2. Um, Whiskey Barrel, I appreciate it. Uh, letting us know you guys were doing this so we could actually get, the, get these over in time before they're gone. Um, I'm interested to see where both of these distilleries go. I'm actually going to buy both those bottles. If just they, to have what them they have left i think they like do them, they personally. do as a matter of fact i think um looking through what they're doing with that uh the nasa series if you will i don't know what they even called the series um on instagram there's still a few bottles of those flying around but some people are, are really having a hard time finishing their collection because they literally bought all of them as they went out oh. which i kind of am a little bit jealous but yeah i didn't do that i do have one or two or three of the one giant leaps, but I don't right. Anyway, going. so anyway, this is for Voyager, Dal one. Voyager Uno. Un. I like how it stops for a second and goes one more. It teases you. It just teases you. Eric <laughs> Wait. Oh, oh, look at well, you, man. Well, 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 Mr. Wait. I see another review coming up Eric there. With a K. Eric with the K. You, my friend, are going to try some. Congratulations. Of congratulations. Um, so the other night when we were talking about this, we had said that we were going to do uh, we we're going to do two samples of each. You want to do two more? Or we can we can start. Do you want to do one more for both? For two samples. Don't matter to me. Ooh. Like you know, like a big winner? Like the big winner that will draw at the very end of the show. All right. That sounds good. I like the idea. Yeah, so we'll start the, we'll we're going to start, start one more raffle for a, and the winner of that raffle gets a two ounce sample. Well, of I think I got to four then. So you're getting in, a, you're going to get both of them. But about, we'll draw that as we about big shut winner. out the shoot. Big winner. Big, no, put chicken dinner. Chicken dinner. Oh, I like the idea. <laughs> <laughs> if you want a chicken dinner, you need to do this. Chicken dinner. All right. Well, All right. So, so pound chicken dinner. I'm going to put it in there, share it real quickly so you guys can start collecting. And then we're going to start. <laughs> Working on this. We got to talk about this now. We got to switch gears, man. Boy, 40 minutes flew by on us. It did. So it did. chicken dinner, if you want to be in a raffle for a two-ounce sample Dose. of each of these. So Dose. it's four ounces of good whiskey. And um, everybody go to Whiskey Barrel and check out their website because I do on a weekly basis. <laughs> good <laughs> so stuff. Good what's stuff. going on with this? Um, Let me wow. pull up this too so I can get it shared. Dun, 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 dun. There it is. Okay. So I got to share again. And pull up the next one. What the heck is this kid? No, it's wrong one. Wrong one. You know those. There we go. Okay, so first of all, we've got. Let me enlarge this so you can actually see this. So this is a, going to be a randomized list. I'm gonna sure, do it to 150. All right. So we actually have two more. We talked about I and J. They're empty. They're empty right now. So. Because we don't want to draw, we have a, a ten entry, right? Show the bracket. Ten entries. I don't. Have, well, brackets. Anyway, we got so we have ten entries. So the first four are essentially playing in. You can talk about it to a normal eight. Oh, you're gonna put it on another tab, real quick. Okay. Okay. Oh, so that. yeah. Anyway, um, there you go. We're just putting the the, uh, the bracket up so you can see how this works. With with only ten bottles, it was hard to put up. A bracket up uh, like a college basketball bracket type thing. So the very first round is going to be between four bottles, and so that means that six bottles are getting a buy in the first round. So we're going to randomly choose the four bottles that are going to get picked for today's showdown. All right. Okay. Give me a second. I'm going to show this bracket. Right. So today's showdown will will 
narrowed out, kick two people out. Um, <laughs> two bottles are going to be pulled out of that that randomizer because we the samples are still literally in route. Um, they're down the street, just can't get them. Um, but moving forward, we're going to do those. And then if you look at the bracket, two, three, four, and five are every Thursday moving forward, which brings us to the retraction of our Sunday lives, man. The breaks are being stopped here. We, we've moved to Sundays. Love Sundays. It's, it's great. We're not giving up on Sundays. Not giving up on them. But we are going back to our regularly scheduled program time. On Thursday nights. On Thursday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you used to watch Thursdays, we're coming back at you. It's just who we are. It's just who we are. And I let's be honest. It, as the summer is opening up, we're finding our schedules on the weekend really, really are hard. getting crazy. And we're like, if Baseball our schedules are crazy, and... your schedules are crazy. Right. Who the hell is going to watch? And then we get into fall and we, we're not going to compete with the NFL, although I quit watching the NFL. But that's a different reason. Um, <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to continue Thursdays. We are going to have special guests because the last two Sundays we've had have been, been fantastic. Oh, I, lo I love talking to love guests. Our guests. That's the best part. And we actually have some really good surprise guests coming up. Um, I don't want to spoil it, but we've got some really good ones. We'll advertise it. We'll let you know. So Sundays at 2 p.m. are still going to happen. Occasionally, we'll let you guys know for sure. However, back to Thursdays. As normal, starting next Thursday. Thursday, they're coming up. Uh, so right now we're starting off today, round one, Thank you. which we're going to randomize. Next Thursday will be the second, and the next following Thursday, we got to four on. So, so the way this is going to culminate, though, is our timing. We will end the challenge, the shoot off, if you will, with a special guest from Compass Box. Oh, so, what? What? You want to talk you, about? You said it. You want to talk about blending? Um, we're bringing in someone that, uh, that knows guns. a lot about it. Um, they've got a new master blend, blender over there, and we are stoked to talk to this guy. Um, and if we have enough of the sample of the winner left over, we might send him a sample and say, I "Like it? What do you think? Can, are you know are we mean? on track? Can you pick it, a winner? I don't." I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I have no clue. Do do I want to randomize this list right now to get the first four. So that you want to say the first, the, the, the list will be one through eight. So the first four will be, or do you want to do one each time? Oh, let's do the first four. First four it is. All right. Meeny, meeny, money, go. So G, G, B, C, and H will be around one. G, H, B. What'd you say? G, B, C, C, and H. B, G, and there's C. All so right. there you go. Well, let me do one more time. And what are we, what are we doing? If I you don't, that's it. That's all we need. This, okay, you go to G against B? Oh, yeah. Randomize it one more time. So oh, I didn't realize you were that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, this so is we, just to see who goes against head to head. Head. And Well, B against C and G against so H. So B goes against C, G goes against H. I don't know if it said who was home and who was away. Does it matter? It doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> Just cool. Who, so, gets home, who gets home field advantage? So give me a, a reminder. What are we? What's going on here? We got uh, two bottles from two patrons or four patrons here that have done their own do-it-yourself blend. Yes. And we're going to figure out what's the rules here. Do we have rules? Uh, well, which one's the best? We all, all agree and go forward. Yeah, yeah, we'll have we'll have to have a consensus. Yes. Yeah, since there's only three. three of us, the good news is, is there can't be a tie. Right. When four there, there if, if Sean were here, we could run into a weird scenario where two like one or two like the other. But in this instance, um, we are literally just going to score in our minds these blends based off of nose, palate, finish, how it handles water, complexity. Is it is it, go, <laughs> is it good, bad, or indifferent? In other words, how is it a balanced blend or is it just come out and it's all over the place type of thing? You'll know. Um, do we need to, we need to build glasses here? Is that what so? We're this is B and this is C. Do we want? Yeah. So this is B and C. So B and C are up against each other right now. Now I also say this: we will, um, we will disclose the loser today. So if, if oh, we out of B and C, Ooh. we will disclose the loser and the recipe of that glass. We won't disclose who they went up against because we don't know. I need to. I need another glass. Um. Do you have another one? We don't. Okay. So I think that those are our uh, samples. These are our sample glasses. We're sharing these, I guess, is what he's saying. Okay. Sounds good. So go for it. Unless you want to dump those and use no, these for. No, let's use these. Yeah, Fine. we we, we got to save enough sample to get through this whole yeah, thing. You know this what is mean? good, actually, smart. So, B, have you smelled these? Mm -hmm. I have a winner already. And reminder if you want to get a giveaway, <laughs> chicken dinner, pound chicken dinner for the giveaway. For a Voyager That's 1 good. and Voyager 2 sample. 
two ounces each. This is Petey. <laughs> I know it's when you're, is that how you like it already? Andrew is so predictable. Like, if it's Pete, I'm going to like it. Wow, they're both light. Yeah, they are light. They're both right. light. Light Pete. Bo both, they're both oh. very light. Um, so let's talk about B. So uh, I, I don't want to do B. I want to do this one first. Yeah, I want to do okay, C first because it's not peated. That's a good yep. call. But B, I mean, I, I, I don't get much peat at all. It's a lightly peated. It's sweet. It's vanilla. It reminds me of a Lagavulin. I mean, it's just it's just kind of a really good balance between sweetness, bourbon sweetness, and and peat. God, this is this is hard. I um, man, I um, it's honestly, if I was gonna say in, in B, there's Ardbeg wee, wee Beastie in there. Kind of that sweeter peat, <laughs> the younger peat. That's a little bit. I don't know. I, I mean, this is ho-humbling, you guys, because we're doing this blind, right? We're going to go off, and we're going to talk about all these, and then we're going to reveal one of them and be like, you were wrong. <laughs> this is this smells like bourbon and cherry. and Interesting. So that, it has a little bit of sweetness. The peat uh, carries through the, you know, I, I'm going to go ahead and try B because I really enjoy the peatiness. But. Well, that's that's got some zang to it. That's got some spice, heat. That's probably like 59 ABV, or we'll call it 60. Um, so, yeah, we don't, that's one thing we don't know. We don't have ABVs on these at all. Wow, that's actually really good. Um, I like that. Ooh, that is hot. That's, that's hot. Honey um, mixed with caramel mixed with... I actually got a green grape on the tongue. You didn't get any of that, huh? No. Which, mm -hmm. which one is that again? C. We may need to pour, I need to pour some more on that. I'm going to work it out. C. So do they even know who they are? No. No, no one knows who anything is. So we don't, the, the, the people that sent the blinds don't even know who we're talking about. You're, they, you don't even know what bottle about you this. are. Like, yeah, they may be that. up right now. They may not. Okay. This is actually, this it's it reminds me Thank of like you, a, a shiver almost. Like a, like a, is it grainy? <laughs> it's got a, um, it's got a real short finish. It is very uh, drying on the palate. Um, I did get the grape. I did get a little a, a little pop oh, of um, of sweetness in there that maybe would contribute to the grape. But I think I may want to. May, we may need to stick on one for that one. Is really interesting. I think it's got. It, Boy, you, it's a little. It's a little disjointed, but it's got an interesting flavor. It's it's definitely near, not nearly as hot as that one. No, no that no. one punches. Yeah, let's, like let's, a let's pause on that one. It reminds me of Glenn Farkas, actually. What? Yep. Oh, really? Do we want do we want to run these back and forth? Uh, I I've, I've oh. already had both of them. I haven't had this one yet. You want you want to go through that one some more? Have you, have you had both one? of them? Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you had that one? Not yet. So what do you think about that? <sighs> definitely. Uh, okay, so I'm doing B, and it's. Lightly peated. I think I think we need to put water on both of these guys. Yes, we do. I, I want to see what happens when we open these up. Because that that C ha, has it has some potential there. It's got great mouthfeel. The finish was short, but I think it actually on the second sip it lasts longer. It's still drying on the palate. Oh, that's funky. That's that's cinnamon red hots with peat. Don't put as much on the B because I don't think the B is as high ABV. Mm. Do you, I'm, mm. Well, I know that Pete can ha can mask ABV too. I feel man, like the I Pete's think... masking something else too. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> Am I walking in there? <laughs> no, I didn't get any of that. I'm not sure, guys. About so, so on the Pete the Pete perspective, it's not mm. like an ashy. It's more of a the nose is pleasant, but almost medicinal. Like Ooh, it does smell like a little bit of hard bag. Andrew, can you borrow one of those hard handheld devices that test for alp? Uh, borrow? We should just buy one. How much does one of those things cost? That's not expensive. Not I'm, expensive I got, I've got my winner already for these two. That's oh, not a no-brainer for me. You, got, you ready to talk through it? Sure. I mean, it's easy. So C, I, I love a lot, actually. I really enjoy it. It's a Whoever did this one did a good job of blending the flavors to make it almost – Feel like it's legit signal model, if you will. Like it's it's complex enough to give me uh, questions on the on the nose and palate. Um, creamy, but uh, buttery, uh, vanilla, 
Ah, I need to go. I can't remember what else, but it's, it's smooth. I like mm. it. has got decent ABV to it. Wow, that, that's it's, it's, they've done a good job. Now, on the other one, which is what letter again? B. 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 Mm. B had a nice nose. Uh, it, it was slightly peated. I, I don't mind that a little bit because I'm not, I'm not, sometimes I'm not ready for heavily peated. So it's slightly peated. But that palette, and I got, I should be fair and go one more time with, with water. Uh, but the first initial palette was like Pete trying to mask uh, uh, almost a red hot or like a cinnamon, something bad scotch, maybe like white Walker on top. Yeah, so so I, I don't get, I don't get cinnamon. I get a little bit of a funk off offness. It's, it's, so it's not, better. it is. I, I, yeah. I, I, <laughs> I right so um, wow. So, so you, you remember when I, I first noticed them, I'm like, I know which one is good. I, I picked B. <laughs> but when really? I tasted them, I that's not the truth, man. Right. That C is so, way tastier. <laughs> so we know who B is. Oh, we do? I do now. All right. So we, are we are we declaring C the C, winner of this C, round? C, C, C is, is the winner. Is C really is the fantastic. winner of this round. So B will be revealed. All right. Dun dun dun. Bring it out. B goes down. Down goes B. So hold on before you read that. There's there's one more. That is the intro to it. And he'll, so, he'll know now. So I will read the intro <laughs> from the entry of this is B. Fun. Glenn Go Goth, Goth 10, a Highland blended Scotch malt. Oh, it's good, pronounced Gui. Oh, Glen Gui. Glen Gui is Gaelic air. for air or wind. Mm -hmm. ABV 45%. I love Honestly, this. I think it See, drank a little bit lighter than that. I, I don't <laughs> think it drank as high as 8, 45 this Highland Scotch whiskey is a blend of aromatic and effervescence warmth grounded in the glens of Scotland where the wind gently <laughs> strolls through the valley and into your heart, <laughs> giving it a warm, lasting finish. This single malt blend was made using traditional Who's methods this? of using the purest water, the most robust barley grains, and utilizing arcane divinations found only in ancient Scot Scottish text and aged in numerous oak barrels for a minimum of... Ten years. So this would be Everwind's. This is Everwind. Dun, dun, so what did Ever, Everwind put in here? Because this was interesting. I like the nose on it, but it just didn't, it just didn't handle up against C. It just didn't. Now I'm sure right. he. Well, listen, <laughs> I just want to point to this. this. Don't don't give us too much crap, right? I'm sure we could done things better, but this is first first impression. So we so love we love you guys. Forty five percent, fifty percent Gord McPhail Ball Blair ten, thirty percent Deanston twelve. 10% Glen Grant 15 and 10% Belvini Pete Week. There's 14. that slight that's peak. That's that Pete Week. That's what that was. But only 10%. And that's why it was really, really, really less. Wanted to create a honey forward dram with rich vanilla notes with a little kick and a touch of smoky for complexity. So, so I think the the Deanston in this situation, I think if you would have stuck with the Bob Blair and the Glen Grant and left the Deanston out, it may have been a little bit more of a better blend, just my two cents. Really? The Deanston 12, 12 is a good, they're all great bottles. Yeah, those are Actually, all Actually, yeah, we've had all. But the 12, I think, is, it was what I was getting, some weird sherry kick in the end. So again, 50% Gordon McPhail's Ball Blair 10. So this, is, this isn't this is Ball Blair bottle cask. This is the Gordon McPhail independent bottler. Correct. Um, so we don't know the casking necessarily on that. 30% Deanston 12. <laughs> 10% Glen Grant 15. That's the quote and of the 10 week. 10% Dalvini <laughs> Peak. Your tears today will be the whiskey of tomorrow. <laughs> That's great. Ah, uh, sorry, Everwind. Interesting, ever Interesting blend. I so, really love the amount know, of effort you put into it. I what love I, it. What I love Very about good that is it, it, it's interesting how much that 10% Pete Week kind of dimmed everything else. Now, so to be fair, obviously, again, it is what it is. We're round Weber, but you really liked it at first. You're a great. peak lover, but, but he was attracted to that peak. Because because C, the initial nodes on C was just dead flat nothing. But when you added water to it, it just like opened yeah. up. Right. And, and so we have no up. idea what's in C yet, and we won't reveal that until it's lost. Right. So it, it, C moves it on. Does. I don't know. So C moves yep. on. C moves on. So let's right. leave B out here. because we Thank we, you, we, Everwind. It was, a great, you, it was a great challenge. Yep. Yeah, that was fun. Um, And an interesting blend. Love the write-up. All right, you're awesome. That's why B's out. We want to do this because this is fun. This is fun. <laughs> All right, G and H. Give me G and H. So B and C going down, 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 baby. That's our watering bottle. Here's G and H. All right, Pure, the, 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 this H. one's pure cane sugar, right? I don't know. G and H. G. Oh, let's see. But we're running late. Hey, do a reminder, man. Make sure you guys are trying to get in on those 
two two ounce samples that are going to give away at the end of the show, which should have been at three, but we're running a little behind. We're running a little behind. <laughs> it's all sure good. Hit. Time. That is the um, dang man. Uh, chicken dinner. If you want the two samples. All right. So let's look at these. What are we talking about? Oh, we wow. Here? This is going to be a tough one. Yeah. This is going to be tough. Those one. noses are great. So color about the same? Yeah. One, maybe H is a little darker. Maybe. It's hard to tell with the, uh, with the glass because it's. Yeah. Let's see, man. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. They both have great potential. G has a lovely nose. It does. Um, I'm not getting much off of it. Eight is definitely more subtle. Or H, I mean, is more subtle than, than G. Oh, this is rich. Hello. <laughs> Hello, lover. Hello, lover. <laughs> Where have you been all my life? Go ahead and take a sip if you want, if you're ready. All right, so let's describe this. So uh, H. So with linen, I'm getting um, no peat, no smoke. Real light linen. Who made a blend um, for me? This has no, no, sherry no heavy sherry notes on it. Yeah, th that one's very heatherly. To lemon, me. heather, yeah, like like Marshall a highland floral, yeah, a highland. That sounds like it smells like a highland blend. This smells like this a is, sherry. This is sweet. It it reminds me as uh, like if you just took white sugar right out of you know on a tablespoon and put it on your tongue. Um, it's got that flavor. Uh ooh, cheese, good. I like you. Definitely linen on the nose for sure. On, it's on light, the and it's just it's it's a spring summer day. I mean, I mean it's it's uh, herbal and grassy, not not bad grassy, but just like like when you're laying in a field and you just smell the the nature around you. It is like that's good. It reminds me of oh, a, a Balvenie. Sweet. That's beautiful. It's a beautiful. Oh wow! Whiskey. Actually, though, if you get down in it and really dig underneath it. It, there is richness. There's Multi. richness under well, that was H. There's uh, some richness yeah. in H too. Multi. Oh yeah. So G is much more sherried. Oh, that's really nice. That is a beautiful whiskey. Well, whoever did H did a great job on blending whatever they're doing. And, and you know, I'm interested to see what's going on because it's it's really smooth. Does not taste hot. I would say I would say probably wow. 43 to 46 ABV on that. What was it? What was everyone's by the way? Remember the ABV? Mm. Is it high? Everyone's was 45. I was do that. So G feels sherry, and there's a I like an asparagus H. note in it. I mean, it's weird. It's interesting. There's a, ve a veg note. Reminds me of Balvini a lot um, in G. Uh, I'm talking about G now. Okay. Yeah. I need to go back to G. This is um interesting. This, Not bad. This is harder because Somebody's these two are much more aligned. These ones are running closer Thanks in the not. same swim lane, whereas at least in B and C, you had one over here and one over here, and you know. You, these are tough. These are very. These are both. High, they both. It's hard to compare this stuff. I mean, that's why we're randomizing it. But yes. I mean, you know, you know what you're gonna get. And you know, a sherry against a uh, a bourbon or a like a sherry versus a sherry would be better. Ooh. <laughs> what you just got a? You just got a. <laughs> I got. I got a weird leathery finish. Really? So I'm getting like veg on that one. Oh, he's not. He's this not is, like this it. is gonna. No, I. This is oh. too damn tough. This is. I love okay. them both. Let's, let's add a little um, water. Let's add a yeah, couple of water to each. A couple drops of water to each. Um, because these are really wow difficult. Um, this is so hard, you guys. So I mean, here's here's where I stand on them. G to me has got a much more depth of richness. It's a deeper deeper flavor. H is is just really balanced as shit. <laughs> I mean, it's you just think H like, is balanced? I think yeah. compared to G, G's just, G's got a, a more rich note on it. It's it's a little bit heavier, a little bit thicker. Um, there's more to chew on there. H is just, it's put together really well. There's nothing that's fighting each other in H. Mm -hmm. I don't get any, you know, disjointness. G. It's a really good semi-sweet to caramel to vanilla. Well, the to water makes G really nice. Malty. The, the end. I know. You're killing me, small. No, I thought I thought G yeah, had. Is it, it fair to flip a quarter on this one, guy? <laughs> oh, I gotta try the H because G. Oh. The water, the they water, the water broke off the the veg note and brought up with some sweetness and some vanillas in there. Ooh, I think the opposite. Really? Okay. That's great. <laughs> That's why you have three people up here. 
The, the nose is more vegetable than ever was. Hmm. Damn it. Whoever did G&H, well done. You guys need to thumb wrestle this one out. All right. Oh, okay. So I have a winner. I like G <laughs> at first, but then it smacks you at the end with some funky, weird vegetable thing. I'm not a leather. I don't know what it is. It's like off vegetable or leather. And it's both. It's kind of like a. <laughs> It's a vegetable. Leather. It's like a they're making like a vegetable spice. You know what I'm talking about? Like like. Okay. That H okay. Um, yeah. All right. So yep. I, I, go, the, I gotta the, go. With the H. nose. The nose on G is falling apart as it's diminished with water. Yeah. And man, that H. The nose on um, is fantastic. To be honest with you, what's in there? I get your vegetable. I can get your vegetable in there. I see. I, I got. I don't get the at, leather. At the, at the end of the day, it's called this, vegan leather. Yeah, yeah vegan, vegan leather. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Thanks, Tom. So leather. Here's the deal. At the end of the day, this is a do-it-yourself blend off, which is, is one of the best. And and how, hands hands down between these two, you know the winner is. I, I gotta ask, how gutsy is it to? Make your own blend and send it to people that drink scotch all the time. That's pretty awesome. So, yeah, you know what? To, to finish this out, I, I got to be honest. When we threw this idea to do this, you guys, I really had no interest in it because mm. I I really have no interest in blending my scotch. The wow, bottles that I have in my bunker, I love each and every one of them for what they are. I really have no interest in going, I wonder what it would taste like when I did this. I mean, back when I was a kid and I had the dipping stick, I'd be like, yeah, I want to put some purple wine somewhere. <laughs> okay. You know, that shit was great. But I don't, I don't want to do that with my scotch. But um, maybe maybe you can though. I mean, it's interesting. It does shine a light oh, on something so where you crazy. have a bottle that you're like, gosh, I wish that was just a little bit more sherry, or wish it was a little bit more, you know, uh, oaky or whatever. Maybe you know one that is more oaky and one not, and you can add a little to it to kind of blend it off. But at the end of the day, do you have a winner? I do. I do. Uh, G, not H. H, I, right? Uh, G, yeah, right. I, I'm going with H. I think G was great i think up front it came out of the if, if i'm going to use a, a horse race it came out of the gates running hard and strong and it was negative it was pulling forward it was rich it was bold um as we drank it down a little bit and it had more oxidation and we put some water on it, i think it started falling apart in other words if you were talking about horse racing with the, with the buggies it, it did a misstep and it had to go to the back you <laughs> okay, know what I, mean? I like it i was like oh are you are you the I, same way i am you switching i'd have to flip a coin between G and H, because G has some. You like the vegetable. Well, it's got it's got some depth to it that I, H is like all sherry and sweetness, and G has some like funk and some. There is some funk. You're some, absolutely mm, right. There's some, some yeah, vegetable quality. It doesn't matter. If you're I'm, going, H. I'm going with all right, H. So I'm going to go with G. I think <laughs> G is boy. worth it. Worth it. All right, so we're going with H as our winner. winner. So H wins. H wins. G is, G is, H is Bobby J. What? Bobby J coming out. Wait, 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 wait. Oh shit! Did I just call it out? You did. Oh. What's G? Okay, so so ignore that. Uh, we'll, we'll we got to read from so Shoot, G. Forward, it's G. Everything gets G switched. G. Just enough. See, Justin, I love it, Justin. All Sorry. right, so Josh, you're Screw getting re. Uh, so, well, no, Justin. No. G. G. Bobby is going H on. is getting <laughs> redistributed amongst the I and the J that got that aren't here yet. Yeah, this, we're, is, we're, this is what happens when you drink too much during a show. All right, so so Justin, Justin. I like you, Justin. I, I love Justin. He's a good whiskey. He's got a great collection, too. So here it is from him. You are in the presence of the finest quality, handcrafted, blended sample titled, Yeah, Don't Do It, Benny. It's Whiskey Suicide. <laughs> <laughs> That's the title of his whiskey. Yes, tasted I can like see that. that. Or Y-D-D-I-B-I-W-S. <laughs> The ingredients may get remembered, but legendary blends never die. Follow your heart dummies and you'll never go wrong. It should be between 46 and 65 percent ABV. Well, see, we didn't even we didn't even deal with the ABV on this one. It just tasted good. I feel like this was a suicide mix. Like, oh, it sounds good. I can't wait. Here, you you read the last one. Yeah, go, for it. go for it. Right. You, you, you tell us what's going on here, Andrew. He's the one that liked this. I did like it. Talk to us here. I think I picked that one over. It's got more. It's got more guts to it. So we'll see All what right, happens. So, here. all right. So the blend consists of the following: fifty-five percent Lac Lamond eighteen, which is a good eighteen, especially price point. Price point Lac Lamond eighteen is great. Mm -hmm. Twelve and a half percent SMWS twenty-eight point four nine Ginger Squidgy. What twenty eight point four nine? Everybody, pull no, out your phones. Just to calculate. Damn it. I need to know. I, I don't know what that is. I need you to know, know what that, that is. I, I I can tell you right now. Um, 
Here we go. 28. 28.49. I'm waiting for Drew's madness. Ginger Squidgy. Here we go. 28. 28 is Tullabardine. Mm. 12 point. Don't, don't, don't close that. 12.5% SMWS 66 point or 66.181. Ardmore. Mm hmm. 10% kill Karen 8, 57.1. Oh, oh that's my sad. lover. That's sad. And 10% Booker's. Booker's? 2019 Putting a little bourbon in there, huh? Man. That's, a, that's probably that leather I was getting. Yeah, it could have been. Interesting. Black well, you know how to make vegetable. <laughs> The ginger squidgy, I think that probably was the ginger squidgy that, that kicked it. And the her and herbivore's temptation is the 88. And that is the veg. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. That's funny stuff. All right. Wait, so, so what did you say was the veg? The her herbivore. Well, there's ginger squidgy, so that's ginger, and then herbivore's right. temptation. So we have winners for today's bracket that continue on. And that's so C and H. H but we've got to re-bracketize that we've got to we got to re redo them. We got to shuffle. As a matter of fact, in, in all fairness and transparency, Drew had said before we even started the show tonight that he's going to have his daughter literally re-pour these out, re-take the letters yep. off and redo this so we don't know who's who and what what's when, so where, and why. So it doesn't matter that uh Bobby, you survived the first yeah. first round um and looking good moving forward, but we have no idea what you're up against. All right, um, let's get this draw going here. I'm going to take the G home. Uh, you, you, like you take it home. So, winner of the two samples. Two samples. Voyager of, 1 and Voyager 2. Off to the stars you go. And it happens to be Silver, Silver Mountain, Mountain Man. Man. Nice You job. are getting four ounces of two a piece of Voyager 1, Voyager 2, Strathenry, and Dominic. Um, Good for you. So, how does he uh, get these? Well, he needs to to email scotch for dummies at gmail.com so we know where the dial uh, to tell the owls to deliver it to you. That's right. right. That's correct. Um, pretty simple. Guys, fun uh, show. Wow. Whis Whiskey Barrel, the uh, two bottles. I like them a lot. Delicious. Yeah, interesting bottles for a very young, young distillate. Yep. Right. And um, then, the, then the blend off was entertaining. I think next Thursday, this Thursday coming oh, up. I can't wait. It's going to be really fun. We got this a lot of bottles so to go fun. through. fun. Like, yeah. you don't know what you're going to get. <laughs> so, yeah. tune in for that. Um, we actually uh, are going to do um, what five more Thursdays? I think of this yeah. four, four or four five, more, four, more. Um, four more. So yeah, so thank you, patrons, for participating in that. Lots of fun stuff coming up. Anything else? Yeah. To add? Uh, so are we, are we doing reason? patron only for the final round? What are we yes, doing? I think so. Good call. So we're going to be doing these the, the rounds of the bracket here between mm -hmm. first round, which was today, and second round, which is next Thursday. Like three more rounds, actually. But I yeah. think that the, the final round, the, the elimination, the five, the, the, the channel, the, the championship round will be a patron only uh, video. Yep. Um, especially considering it was the patrons that participated in the blend. So if you want to participate in something like this, you become a patron because we do this kind we'll of. We'll have them. You'll actually be the on the show. We're going to participate oh, with us. Oh, that's so great. We'll see your reactions as we call you out as the champion. And like you said, you never know. Maybe somebody special will be able to taste your sandwich. Yeah, that's that's kind of the goal. I mean, anyway, at the end of the day, we're going to round this whole thing out with a conversation with someone that does this for a living. I think a Scotch right. for Dummies t-shirt is, in, in, you know, definitely. We can do that. For the winner. For the Absolutely. Winner. Yeah. And, so, we, and we, we've got a Molly Hashtag coin Master Blender. Crazy stuff. <laughs> got a Molly coin and a Patreon coin. <laughs> Well, um, so thank you for our patrons. Happy Mother's Day to all of our subscribers, viewers, everybody out there. Uh, you guys go out and, and make sure you treat your mothers um, today. So, yep. Yep. That's it. All right, guys. Love you guys. We'll see you on Thursday. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.